how to build an AI social media system that creates content for you 24 seven while you sleep. This automation combines chat GPT to write posts, image generation, as well as AI avatar generation to post videos to TikTok. And this single automation posts to Twitter, threads, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok all in one place. My name's Sabrina Romanov. If you don't know me, I previously sold an AI company for millions of dollars and have grown my social media following from zero to half a million followers in six months without budget, without paid ads, without a team, without virtual assistants. So I spend a lot of time building and tinkering with AI automations. And now I'm going to walk you through each step of how to build this. But more importantly, you can just download the Make Blueprint completely for free. It's going to be in the description in my newsletter. Let's first start by running this automation and I'll talk through each step as it's running. So typically this trigger will watch for new rows in a Google Sheets. I'm just going to use an existing row that I already have and trigger the automation. Okay, so click run once and now it'll grab this row from the Google Sheet. And this is basically a URL to an article that I want my social media automation to post about. This particular article is from the AWS blog about DeepSeek R1 models now being available on AWS. Okay, so I grab the URL here, I put it into the simple Google Sheets, and then my make.com automation will detect this new row in the Google Sheets and kick off the entire process, right? So first it makes an HTTP request to go fetch the news article. Then it uses ChatGPT to clean up the raw HTML and extract only the article. This node is to set up our social account integrations with Blotato so that we'll be able to publish to all of these different social platforms. And then this router here is to separate the logic between social media platforms. For example, up here for Twitter and threads, I'm using one particular ChatGPT prompt to write a really short tweet that can be published on both Twitter and threads. This second workflow here for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram writes a post and generates an AI image using Dolly 3 and then publishes to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram with the image and post. Whereas this workflow at the bottom uses ChatGPT to write a video monologue script for my AI avatar. It writes a caption for the video. It uses HeyGen to create my avatar video. It retrieves the video and then publishes it to TikTok. And I wanted to include all three variations here so that you can easily take this blueprint and adapt it to your specific use case. For example, for Facebook and LinkedIn, you don't have to generate an AI image and attach it to the post. But if you want to do that, then this shows you how to do that. For Instagram, of course, an image or video is required. So this is showing you how to do that. Another option you have is to take this avatar video and publish it to Instagram Reels instead. So I really wanted to show three different variations, just text, text and image, and then text and video. So you have those options and can tweak this make blueprint to your needs. And you can see everything here already ran successfully. So let's go check out those posts. And what we're waiting for here is the avatar video to finish being created. It can take a couple minutes depending on the length of your script. But let's go and check out the ones we've created. So Twitter, threads, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. I'm refreshing my Twitter page. Okay, and you can see the tweet here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it now. Then go to threads, refresh the page. You can see the threads here, DeepSeek R1 models posted two minutes ago. I'm going to delete that now. On LinkedIn, I'm going to refresh my profile. And you can see it here with the generated image. By our workflow automation hooked up to Dolly 3, DeepSeek R1 models are now available on AWS, posted two minutes ago. I'm going to go ahead and delete that from my profile. And then this is my Blotato Instagram page, or you can see I've been just been testing things out. Here's the post that we just made, and for Facebook as well. So you can see the same exact image here and the post about DeepSeek R1 models. And the last thing, again, that we're waiting for is TikTok for our avatar video to be generated. While we're waiting, I'm going to walk you through the things that you'll need to set up outside of the make automation. The first thing is your data source and trigger. For this particular automation, I'm using a simple Google Sheet where I put in a URL of an article that I find interesting. Now, you could also build a variation of this workflow that uses an RSS feed and things are coming in automatically. But I personally recommend more of a curator mindset where you consume interesting content, choose the best pieces to share with your audience, and all you have to do is drop the URL 
URL here. Just make sure that it, the URL is publicly accessible so this automation won't be able to access like paywalled content. All you really need in your initial Google Sheet is one column for the URL. And every time you paste in a new URL here, it will trigger the entire workflow automation to run. These additional columns are if you want to take the published content and just document it here, like what the LinkedIn post was, what the Twitter post was, what the threads post was, etc. Now, the other thing you'll need to set up is your Blotato account and API access so that you can publish to all of those social media platforms. I built this app called Blotato to help me scale as an education creator. It's how I've grown from zero to half a million followers without a budget, without a team, etc. And it's basically an all-in-one solution to create, repurpose, and distribute dozens and dozens of pieces of content per week. And one of the nice features is its API so that you can publish programmatically to the social platforms. To set that up, simply sign up for blotato.com, okay? Then go to settings over here, scroll down a little bit. And what you're gonna do first is log in to the social accounts you wanna publish to. And on the starter plan, 29 bucks per month. As of January 2025, you can connect up to 20 social media accounts, which is huge. And it could be any social media account. So it's your choice what 20 you want to pick. Once you've connected them, you'll be able to copy the account for each one. For LinkedIn pages and Facebook pages, you're also going to need to copy the page ID. So this is the button here to do that. And if you have any issues, by the way, with connected accounts, the easiest way to refresh your connection is to log in again. And lastly, you'll want to connect your ChatGPT account to the Make Automation. So you probably have one already. If, if not, go to authopenai.com and create an account there. And I just opened a copy of our automation in a new tab. Again, while we're waiting for the AI avatar video to finish and publish to TikTok. And let's go through the nodes that you can edit step by step. So this is the Google Sheet that is triggering off of. Just connect your Google Sheets and make sure that you are choosing the correct spreadsheet ID. So this is how I organize mine. I have a folder content OS and then a spreadsheet inside it, but just change this to your spreadsheet or Airtable or Notion or whatever you're using as a source. I limit it to one, so it's only pulling one URL at a time and then running the workflow automation. The next step is an HTTP HTTP GET request that basically allows make.com to fetch the article from the URL. So all you have to do is put in the URL from the previous node, method GET, okay, then click Save. If you're downloading the Make Blueprints, you don't need to change anything with that. You don't need to change anything here either, extract article, but I'll show you how it works. It's basically asking ChatGPT to extract only the text article from a raw HTML page. And this is because the get request in the previous step will often return like a lot of HTML tags, links to other parts of the website, just a bunch of junk that can be distracting. This leverages ChatGPT to do the extraction for us. And you don't necessarily need 4.0. If you're trying to cut down on costs, you could use 4.0 mini for this task. Okay, and then this step is really important, set up social accounts. I clone this node over here so that you can see inside it. I do have to like connect it to something first, okay? And this is where you're gonna set your variables. So your Blotato API key, your Instagram account, your Facebook ID, Facebook page ID, your LinkedIn ID, Twitter ID, TikTok ID, and Threads ID. And where you're gonna get all of these, go to my.blotato.com slash settings, right? So, or click here on the bottom left. And this is where you grab your account ID. So this is like my TikTok account ID, my account ID for LinkedIn. For Facebook, don't forget to grab your page ID. Similarly for LinkedIn pages, grab your page ID. And then to get your API key, just scroll down and click copy API key. And you're gonna paste the corresponding values here and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this node now. Then here at the router, kicks off the three parallel branches. So the topmost one is to write a post for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And when you're first testing things out, the only things you need to change are connecting your accounts, like your ChatGPT account, your HeyGen account, your Blotato account, and then filling out all of your social account ideas here, as well as the Google Sheet. You don't really need 
to change any of these ChatGPT writing prompts unless you want to. This basically takes the output of the article extraction over here, and then the AI prompt tells ChatGPT to write a post based on that information. Okay. The next step is to use OpenAI Dolly 3 to generate an image. But before we do that, we have to generate an image prompt. Oftentimes, you don't want to feed your post as an image prompt because then you'll get something just weird. And so this generates an image prompt based on the post content. The image should be clear and simple and not be overly cluttered. Or and then this calls Dolly 3 with the image prompt. You can update the size here if you want. These were just default options that I left. And the router will take that content and then we'll trigger the publish to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. You don't need to change anything here, but if you are having an issue issue with this last step and you're troubleshooting things, just double check that all of your variables are filled in and colored like this. This may require you to run the workflow once so you have data flowing into the workflow so that these variables are not just empty. But if you do that and you still see some empty variables, delete the variable and then recreate it. You want to make sure that all of these variables are filled in colored like this. And the requests look pretty similar for Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. If you are publishing to a LinkedIn page, it's going to be closer to Facebook where you have to pass in your page ID. Okay, so that's the only difference between publishing to a LinkedIn profile versus a LinkedIn page. The second automation is to write a tweet. So similar to the first automation, it takes the output of the article extraction and then runs it through an AI writing prompt to write a short tweet, sends it off to Twitter and threads to publish without an image. And then this last flow is the most common complicated one. I've covered in more detail how to build out this AI clone, AI avatar automation. So check my previous YouTube videos if you want a more in-depth tutorial. Similarly, it will write the script based on the extracted article content. It makes another call to ChatGPT to write the caption for the video. I have it separate because I like to SEO optimize all of my video captions. About 25%, 25-30% of all of my weekly short form traffic comes from search. So I like to have just a lot of detail in, in my video description. Usually a paragraph explaining what the video is about, three questions of how somebody might search the topic to find the video, and then relevant hashtags at the end. This calls HeyGen to create the avatar video. So this part you will need to customize. Make sure you connect your HeyGen account. You have to also sign up for the HeyGen API plan, which is separate from the web app. Okay, So there are two separate pricing packages. And again, I covered this in a lot of detail in my previous AI clone videos. So go ahead and check those out if you want a lot more options and explanation for how this flow works. But once you set this up, you just choose your avatar, choose your voice. I have an 11 Labs professional voice clone that I like to use. The input text is the script that the avatar will say. And I do recommend playing around with voice speed, pitch, and emotion just so you can tweak it until you like it. For the title of the video, I just put the topic, let's say AI news, and then the timestamp. Make sure your dimensions are 720 width and height 1280, otherwise it will fail to publish on TikTok. This wait is just to wait until the avatar video is done generating. Once it's done, we're going to get the video. Just you pass in the video ID. You don't have to change this if you're using the Make Blueprints. And then we upload the video to Blotato. We need this step because if you try to just get the HeyGen URL and upload that to TikTok, it will fail. And so we upload it to Blotato first and then use this stable URL for TikTok. And you don't need to change anything here. I'm just showing you how it looks. Make sure this video URL is filled in colored like this. Run the entire thing once so you have data flowing in through the system. The last step is publishing to TikTok. So this JSON request looks very different from all the other ones because TikTok has all of these options. And it's really up to you if you want to change any of these for is AI generated. You may want to set that to true if it's really obvious, but you don't need to change any of these other settings. Again, for your first time testing and running everything, you don't need to touch anything here.
And on that note with TikTok, here I am in my profile and you can see the video uploaded here. You're not gonna be able to hear the audio, but you can see it was published six minutes ago. AWS now supports DeepSeek R1. And this is literally my AI avatar talking about this news update. I just typed here that this is testing for my new AI automation tutorial today in case people might be wondering what it is. So that's it. This is the entire AI social media system. And just a couple caveats here. I don't necessarily recommend this if you're a beginner content creator, because it does take a lot of trial and error and pure effort to figure out your voice, your niche, what you want to say, what kind of brand you want to build. Uh, but if you're an intermediate or advanced creator and you're looking to automate certain pieces of content, then this is a really terrific system to set up. So one example of that for me is evergreen content that I want to post on a weekly basis, but it's the same kind of stuff. I don't want to spend a lot of time or creative efforts on reposting evergreen content. What I mean by that is like I have my chat GPT for beginners course and oftentimes I'll make like a short post about it just to remind people that it exists at a resource or to introduce new followers to that resource. The concept of evergreen content is you just post regularly about that thing every week or every other week. This kind of AI automation makes it super easy to regularly push out that evergreen content without having to think about it or spend a lot of time doing it. It could be like a lead magnet that you have. It could be a particular funnel and you just want to regularly, consistently share that on a weekly basis. To grab this Make Blueprints, I will have the link in my YouTube video to my newsletter and in my newsletter, subscribe for free and then you'll be able to unlock the Make Blueprints if you have any questions, the best way to reach me is through Blotato itself. So if you go back to Blotato, there's an orange button on the bottom right, and you can ask me a question there. Check out my previous tutorials on building out your AI clone, AI avatar videos. There are a lot of really interesting variations you can do. Hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below if you want me to make more videos like this.